my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. style you play in is like a dialect of a language, you know, it changes, like English has, you know, a hundred different uh, ways of speaking English. And it's the same thing when you solo, because I was asked the fact, how do you play a country solo? How do you play a jazz solo, a metal solo, a rock solo, a Spanish Latin kind of acoustic guitar solo? But it's really the same thing. It's just slight changes in how you play the notes. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the instrument, is it an island string or a, a, a western guitar, what is it? And these elements come together. And, for instance, neoclassical metal, right? Those are the same tools as I use for playing a Spanish kind of Latin. Uh, so, so it's the harmonic minor, first of all, and it's the same chord progressions, basically. Uh, and um, these kinds of, you know, the, the styles of music have influenced each other. So I was just, in this video, just going to give you a demo of how close these styles of music really are and, and uh, what it takes to learn them. Even jazz and fusion, it's just another way of phrasing just a little bit to, to give you that fusion sound. But let's just do the pentatonic scale first because that's just such a good example. Uh, if I play the pentatonic scale like this. What does that tell you? Are you in China, right? Uh, are you in Asia? Or are you in the uh, southern part of the um, United States of America? <laughs> because we're going... All right? Oh. It's just such slight changes. Oh, are we? It's also the pentatonic scale. Same thing. <laughs> right? So it just depends on what, well, it's like, it's the same scale, it's the same notes, but if I'm playing it in, in, in a slightly different way, we, we are, we're, it's a different style, right? Let's try something else. Let's try the, uh, the new, like, uh, some, something uh, metal like you're like I got that metal thing going on here we, uh, let me see basically doing here we're using the a harmonic minor that was what i was playing and the focus is on the e chord which is the fifth step and then and we get that sound we get that friction major sound right and what does that also remind us of where does it actually come from uh that sound and if i go if i go something like, if i go Same chord, same sound, but because I'm phrasing differently and it's not an, a non-distorted guitar, I could, if I was playing that on an island string, it would fit completely into 
into the style, at least, you know, to my capacity of how to do that. Um, same thing. If I do, like, say, uh, if I do the A minor, you know, the main chord of that scale instead, like, we, we, I was playing the A harmonic minor, and we were choosing the E there, but if I play the A, A minor chord, but I play the, the chord with the raised seventh, I'm still just playing the A harmonic minor, right? But I take that harmonic minor uh, note and I um, add it to my chord. Then I get... And I, I'm still playing the A harmonic minor. same scale and just choosing a different chord and I'm phrasing in a different way because I've been listening to different kinds of music and over time it's like I naturally without thinking too much about it trying to emulate that sound uh, and just to give you an example without changing the chords in the background it's like if, I, if I'm using the harmonic minor to play something uh, neoclassical I would of course need to put some distortion <laughs> that, that hysteric sound comes from a guy uh, from Sweden. Um, but, <laughs> right? Who defined this uh, style of music, pretty much. And it's basically a matter of how I use the, the runs, like it's hysterical, actually, right? And it's like... <laughs> you know, right? It's this, uh, very dramatic, very rapid, like flamenco-like uh, runs, actually. Um, but then when it's uh, when it's Latin, when it's Spanish, it's like it's a it's a it's a mix between staccato and long notes, like right, <laughs> like. And I'm going between uh, uh, very silent notes, like. Right, the the the, um, the rhythm and uh, the staccato and the difference between the silent lines and the very um, loud lines are very. It's very distinctly uh, Spanish or Latin or flamenco, whatever you want to call it. Uh, whereas uh, the metal is, is the same scale, same chords, but, but a different way of phrasing. If I were to play the same scale with a jazz kind of feel, I would use some other tools, chromatic lines more. <laughs> It's a bit of Spanish there already, right? So I'm tying together notes uh, with chromatics. So I'm just, just you know, going up to the note using all the notes in between. Instead of just going, I go. And slurs like. Targeting. Right? That's the rhythmic language of jazz. Right? Uh, so it's basically a matter of how you play the notes, and there are signature things like in the rhythm and in the phrasing, like. You know, you can go back and watch, the, if you've forgotten about the flamenco and the metal and the whatever, 
Uh, rock is, of course, a totally different thing, right? We got the, you know. Right? And we got a different scale, that's for sure, right? We got the pentatonic scale, uh, which also has the Asian type feel and the Western can. Right in it. But. Same thing for blues, it's just a slightly different sound, but it's... Right, but rock and blues, kind of the, uh, you know, blues transitioned into rock, and so uh, those two are very light. So I hope this was valuable to you. Just, it goes to, it's the same tools we use, right? It's a, just another way of phrasing, and that's what really uh, determines, more than anything else, what style of music, what style of soloing you're playing. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.